there's some good news and some bad news about this. Hold it right there. We're taking a pause and we're going to take a look at the story of how I got scammed because I saw this fantastic bundle over on Facebook Marketplace, as you can see. Pikachu looked pretty darn nice with the box and I immediately looked at the title and you can see it's sold here, but it says Game Boy Limited Edition SP. So I immediately messaged the guy and I said, is it still available? And within a few seconds, he said, yes. I was happier than a pig in shit. And this is an actual picture of me from Christmas, but now with a GBA SP in my little hand. So I said, cool, I'll pop over and I will pick this bundle up. So I went to the bank, I got out my hard earned cash and I speedily, well, not speedily, I flew over there as quickly and as safely as I possibly could. And I picked up the GBA SP. All righty. We, or rather I, have just picked up an absolute banger, a banger which really excites me. You've seen it in the thumbnail, it's a uh, GBASP original Pikachu edition with the box and a whole bunch of games so I need to get home and clean it. Um, got this lovely guy uh, to sell it to me, it was for, uh, for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Turn left, turn left thank you. Um, and he, someone turn was supposed right to come and get Eagle it. Road, All right. turn left um, somebody let him down basically, so he messaged me and said, look, I've still got it, um, you can have it if you want it, come and get it. So I was like, yep, yeah, cool, I'll, uh, I'll be on my way and uh, we've just picked it up, guys. So, really happy with that, excited. He said he got it from America and we're going to get home and we're going to take a look at it, we're going to test it and I'll be selling any doubles that I have in the games over on my Facebook group. It's just at the Gebs 24 go and click the link in the description or just pop it into a uh, good old search bar. Right, let's get on to it, Jess. And here we are. A few hours of research later, I realised that I'm actually holding on to one of the biggest scams in retro gaming history, a fake GBA SP. But the guy, there was lots of red flags. And I'm just going to let my actual self tell you about the red flags that I should have spotted when I picked this up. Oh, and we'll also take a look at the uh, console in more detail itself. So you've heard the story now. And you know that I got a little bit overexcited and got scammed because the, I am 98% certain that what I have right here is a reshell. But all is not lost. I did get a pile of games with this bundle and the good news is not only the games but actually these reshells do have a reasonable amount of value and many many moons ago I actually purchased a Pikachu unboxed reshell which I'll now be putting for sale. Maybe I'll bundle it off with some doubles over on the Facebook group if you care to purchase it. But I was a little bit annoyed. So red flags were flying all around when I went to pick this up. As you saw I drove away very excited. And the guy was very, very pushy. He said to me, are you sure you're okay with this? Are you sure? You're all right, Jemmy, yeah? You're all right, Jemmy. And I'm like, yes, I'm absolutely fine. I'm really happy with my purchase. Look at my purse. It's even got Pikachu all over it. I'm absolutely ecstatic. I let the inner child in me get completely scammed. Now there's two things. Either he didn't know this was a fake and then he was selling it genuine or he knew it was a fake and false advertised it. And I'm leaning more towards that because he kept saying to me, we got this from America, you couldn't buy it over here. Well, I'm led to believe you can only get them from Japan. And the Japanese text on the back is a full giveaway that, hey, this is not English, it's Japanese. They were sold in Pokemon centers. Um, so I'm a little bit gutted but i'm happy because this does work it is a really nice condition one and um, it's a good reshell and like i said they do hold their value and i paid 150 quid for this and the game so that's about the going rate if you were to buy a box one of these on ebay you're probably looking at about 150 150 quid for a reshell anyway so like i said all is not lost and I'm going to show you, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to show you the games that I picked up and I'm going to let you guys decide and maybe unpick this video and let me know what you think and how badly I actually got scammed. So before I show you the games, let's have a look at this reshell and its box. Now, red flag again, look at the condition of this box. I should have spotted it a mile off. It's 
absolutely immaculate. And whilst it is a very good reproduction itself, again, second red flag, absolutely no manuals. If this was legitimate, I do think that they would have had some kind of paraphernalia in the box. Red flag number three, red buttons. The originals came with a kind of brown, brownie kind of buttons which would replicate Pikachu's stripes. So this is a good reshell, don't get me wrong, I'm actually very happy with this, but if you look here as well, there's a lot of, you can just make it out, the plastic is a little bit rough and I watched a video and apparently that hinge right there, if there's any rough plastic in the shell cut, again, it should be a red flag. There should also be a Pokemon Center underneath this and there isn't, but as you can see, it works and it looks pretty darn nice. So whilst I'm a little bit sad that I, myself, I'm owning it, I leapt into this when I perhaps shouldn't have, I'm really happy I have this and uh, the, again, it's, it's pretty decent and I think the price was fair considering what the reshells go for on eBay, but we had some fake games in this bundle too. So here were the games that were included in my £150 scam bundle. Not necessarily phenomenal games by any stretch, but they certainly cushion the blow of my little uh, overexcitement scam. I'll be paying a lot more attention in the future. Um, we got Monopoly, guys. What can I say? It's Monopoly. I'm even going to skim it down there. Now, I <laughs> Texas Hold'em Poker. No, I mean, it's not great. It's probably going to be a shell filler. And I don't know how to play poker. Jess does. Maybe she can teach me. And I've just dropped a bunch of games. I'm going to leave them on the floor. Um, now, this looks to me like the, the box is a reprint. This, it, this is... D oh, no. That's a reprint. Can you see that, guys? I'm, a, I'm just going to hold that there. That looks... It's the ink. The ink that really does make it... I'll show you the back as well. You should be able to get a really good uh, thingy my bob. Good look at that. Game only, probably a fake. Um, next up then we got some brats, which I couldn't give less of a shizzle about, but they're good shelf fillers. Now here's a decent one. Let's unpick this. Well, this feels like an actual pal real box. This is Spyro, really nice isometric version of Spyro. It does have the round Nintendo label, you can see it right there rather than the oval one. So the round ones are PAL, the oval ones are American. Uh, this does feel real. We will take a look at these in a bit more depth shortly. I'm just kind of going through it. Um, this is a fake. Is this a fake? No, this, is that fake? That looks real to me. Again, a lot of these I actually don't have, um, but that does look real to me. Again, we'll unpick some of these and I'll show you the ones I dropped on the floor. Harry Potter Goblet of Fire came with it. We'll just fly through them. Like I said, we'll unpick it after. A bit of Pac-Man and a bit of, uh, you know, some uh, Kelly Slater Pro Surfer. And the ones that I dropped were just as equally as crap because we've got some Tiger Woods Gulp. Again, that... This, this is getting worse and worse. I'm leaving this in. Uh, got some Tiger Woods and then again nothing to shout about got some scrabble as well so we're going to take a look at the fake ones now which i believe is simpsons road rage and we'll have a look at the cartridge as well because gba games are notorious uh, for being in circulation in abundance of fake after fake after fake and it's quite common with pokemon as well but the gba shells are absolutely um rampant and yes there's a market for them and there's a market for fake games as well like you know i that that copy of terra enigma right here that is a repro i have an original as well but i really want to keep the repro so let's take a look at some more i think of the fake games so you can see straight off the bat if you can't see that i don't really know what to say you can kind of it's even got the oval american sticker on it um could just be a fake box but a real game let's have a look let's have a look oh whoa look at this this is faker than pamela anderson's 1990s uh baps right there oh my god that is horrendous i mean that's as fake as look even the sticker's not on straight you can see that right i'm gonna hold that as close to the camera as possible and um, we'll lob it on the floor manual now, manuals, I have a lot of repro manuals and they do, again, hold their value. Um, 
but what do you think let me know in the comment section if you think that's fake or if you think it's actually real i don't know about that i really don't know i'm guessing fake so that's the story of how i got ripped off um not ca not massively ripped off but kind of ripped off um, because i'm edging towards the fact that he knew that was a fake and he didn't get it from america so Merry Christmas guys, thank you for watching, there's more videos to come, hopefully going to get out and about next week and go down to Super Game Shack. If you think I'm worth it, make sure you subscribe, if you're kind enough and you want to support the channel for £1.99 a month, hit the join button or the link in the description that says become a channel member, but for now, have a good one, my name is Gemma, take care, see you soon.